Hey everyone. All right, it's our last day for the farm. So let's see what our end book is going to be. Are you ready? Big Red Barn. This is one of my favorites. So we're going to read The Big Red Barn by Margaret Wise Brown. And the pictures are by Felicia Bond. All right. By the Big Red Barn in the great green field. Can you find the barn? There it is, there's the barn. There was a pink pig who was learning to squill. It's a little pink pig, he's over here hiding by the bucket. Look over here, there's a horse. And there's another horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay. And that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. Can you touch the horse? There's a horse. You're right, there's two. There's another horse. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. An old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe, and a field mouse was born. There's a scarecrow. And if you looked at any of the other stories yet this week, you'll see some other animals that we've read about. There's the geese. There's the goats. We've talked about some sheep, and definitely we've talked about some pigs this week. So let's see what happened out in the farm. The baby mouse was born in a field of corn. Cock-a-doodle-doo! In the barn there was a rooster, and a pigeon too, and a big white hen standing on one leg, and under the hen was a quiet egg. Can you see the teeny tiny quiet egg down there? So little. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen. With a big clutch of eggs, count them, there are ten. Cock a doodle doo! Moo! Moo! There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. Can you touch the big brown cow? Great, this one's the big brown cow and this one's the little brown cow. There was an old black cat. Meow! Meow! And a tiger tomcat. Meow! Meow! There was a big red dog, Bow Wow, with some little puppy dogs, all round and warm. Who can touch a little dog? Remember, little means small. Who can touch a small dog? Good. And now, who can touch the big dog? Remember, big means it's tall, Renny. There is the big dog. They all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. Look at all the animal friends together. When the sun went down in the great green field, the cow lowered, the little pig squealed, the horses stomped in the sweet warm hay, and the little donkey gave one last bray. So the sun's going down, that means it's almost bedtime. The hens were sleeping on their nests. Even the roosters took a rest. The little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. See, look, there's the barn. All the animals are walking to the barn to go to bed. And they were all night long sound asleep. It's so dark. They're all sleeping in the big red barn. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay, while the moon sailed high and the dark night sky. Ready, what is it? Moon, good. All right, friends, ready? Now touch the moon. I hope you had as much fun with Farm Week as I did, and I will see you next week when we are talking about the zoo. So everyone have a great weekend.